Uh, let's see what they've added in here now. Toggle, yeah, toggle ghost fly. They've actually added fly as a key bind. Lock. I think I'm going to leave this to H. Toggle mass dismantle at left control. They've actually removed. The filtering that I used before. The multi select dismantle that's actually been removed as a key bind. It's now dismantle filter. Which is going to be a pain for me. That's going to get used to. Uh, let's get switched. Let's change it to that and let's see how it works. That'll like. Uh, slow down my building a little bit what's your download speed on internet one gig one gig yeah the mouse thingy has gone yeah toggle high resolution obviously this is photo mode um yeah so the toggle dismantle um multi-select dismantle tool has actually been removed so that with my tutorial out outdated because it's now gone to toggle uh, mass dismantle. Uh, sorry, dismantle filter. Sorry. Um, so we'll try that and see what that's like. My crouch is still set to my mouse button. User interface. I've now changed this um, to to my normal colors. Experimental HUD scale, and I brought this down to zero seven five. Uh, seven five. Um. Audio, I'm going to leave that how it is. Everything on this right now. Oh, bring you back up to 4K. Apply. Confirm. I'm going to disable. Anti-aliasing. I'm going to see what it's like without it because I don't need it. And we're just going to jump in game. Uh, <laughs> Jay said it in one of the videos. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember the thing being removed. I thought there was going to be two options for it, but you know, um, the way of the cosmic cat. How you doing, man? Uh, when I play empty world, I can barely hold forty FPS with my sixteen Ti on ultra TSR balanced. Um, Lord High and Lord Bigger Factory at like 20 FPS. It's crazy. Yeah, bring bring some of them settings down, obviously, of course. Uh, it's only minor glitches at this far. Uh, try and change the NAT to moderate to high and see if that changes any drop frames. Uh, that will only be effect multiplier. Uh, yeah, Ultra is way too much for 1060. Mm -hmm. I tried to put it down... And change anything only lords blb internet being a thing no problem here and i said i'm frustrated that uh, eight updates as they won't invert y in the vehicle so i cannot use them played it on old save and it ran very poorly on this experimental eight regardless of graphics like oh my god that is so much sharper holy sugar tits Yeah, definitely turn off TS TSR if you're on 4K. Holy crap. That's hella sharper. The forest is real, indeed. Uh, right, let me get over here. Hell of a lot sharper. You'll save performance as well because I turned TSR off.
Yeah, the only thing that was getting me yesterday that was uh, driving me a little insane was the um, the stutters that was happening like via chunks and stuff. And then uh, also, it might be a little too sharp for me right now because that over there is very, very uh, grainy. Yeah, we're definitely going to turn some form of anti alias on. Bam, bam. I might. I, let's just put temporal on. All right, then let's go back to high on uh, 4K. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to have a sandwich chat, so we'll just have a chat whilst I have this. Uh, yeah, the signals are broken right now. There's a weird thing going on with signals. They still work, but the indicators aren't showing up. Nom nom. The lights look so much better, though. I think using biofuel is what I'm going to use. Liquid biofuel. For my jetpacks now. I like I like the longevity of it that it gives us, you know. How are you going to produce biofuel? Easy, just put a blender down. There's some canisters. And then uh, take it to a place I'm never going to build in and just <laughs> de demolish all the, fo uh, the f uh, foliage. The game's... St Wait, you guys can't hear the game right now, can you? There you go. Now you can. Game does look gorgeous now. Facts. All right, look at. Ugh. 
Oh. Like, it's super dark up here now, like, but. Madness, man. Madness, I tell you. Unreal Engine 5.2 is amazing. We're not even on 5.2. We're on 5.1.1. I think what does it for me... Is the belts you know what i mean hello genesis how you doing man chat i'm gonna be honest with you this right here is the first time I'm trying Yorkshire tea. I've always had PG tips, all right? This is the first time I've had Yorkshire tea. Ooh. 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 Never having that again. PG tips. <laughs> Do it by Yorkshire. <laughs> Good to see. That's the first time I've, uh, I've, I've had it. What's the crazy thing you want to test? I tell you what. A0. Hey, zero. A0. Hey, zero, zero, are you still here? Can I load up your save right now and have a look at it? Yeah. So Zero has got a lot of lighting going on in his world. And I want to see. I like it. It's zeros is the one that we showed off in the in the um, in the YouTube video, right? Uh, when I did the community worlds. So let's see what it looks like compared to what we got in the YouTube. Will it fry my GPU? We'll find out. All right, you ready? Zero, have you even had a look at this yet? The time of day is like what sunset so it's gonna be a little dark at least one thing you know as well is when you play with lumen it really shows where you need to put lights
Um, oh, I didn't turn advanced features on. I should have done. I might just hijack a truck here in a minute. Oh yeah, there's a car in the hub, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go and go. Right. How you doing, Mev? The new sound of these cars are uh, uh, a lot better. There's the audio in general. I think you've got a bit of... It feels like we're playing The Last of Us right now. <laughs> I, think you might, <laughs> I think you might need to cut some trees down. Zero when you get back in. <laughs> it looks like you've got like an abandoned bloody highway. Oh God, there's the butt plug. I love the new handbraking system. Damn. What's the colors on that? I'm not going to turn my torch on. I just want to see what the rooms actually look like without my torch, because otherwise it will change the aesthetic of the things. Holy shit. I'm not going to lie. It's like we, you've all seen them like college or university pictures, right? Where you go from like one ugly looking child to a massive glow up. That's what Satisfactory's gone through. <laughs> <laughs> it used to look like dog shit. <laughs> it's crazy to think this is the game we've all bloody played since early access, you know. How does this look on stream? Let me pull my stream up real quick. So I can see what you guys see. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Seeing what I could... Exactly the same. It looks red. Lumin... Yeah, 100%. Hydrate. I will have a uh, drink of tea. This is the T-Rex enclosure. But it's like, even just that, you know what I mean? Like, the light coming through there now. Like, they never used to do that, right? The, like, the lighting coming through the windows now to actually illuminate the, the windows. It only used to, like, light up just that. And if you had this as...
feels like I've just walked into a Final Fantasy base. You know. <laughs> Go to the mall building for amazing mall, but which is the mall building? I can't fly right now. There it is. It did it again. I'm just going to bust open a wall here. I'm coming out. Oh, shit. Crap. I need some building materials. Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Oh my god. Towards the blue crater. I should really load up into game settings. Yes, let's do it. Let me just do that, chap. Let me um let me load game again, Zero's world, and enable game settings. Let me just do that. And I can fly then. Are you closing the deconstruct with Q? No. It's automatically popping up for me. B for flashlight? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to put my flashlight on, you know. Yeah, no matter what, whenever I do a dismantle and I press, just dismantle the wall, it automatically comes up. On game settings, gameplay, flight mode, and no build cost. I may as well just put god mode on as well. Alright, let's fly around his zero's base. That's the only thing um, that I think needs fixing as well. Is, as you know, when you're flying around... Right, you can't you can't take screenshots. But holy shit, I just looked in the distance. What well, when you do double tap, because you're jumping, your hands come up here. So you're always gonna have your hands in the shot whilst you're flying. So it'd be nice when you're flying, you've got to clean your eye and your hands aren't there. Where did you say a blue crater? Oh, that's a good point. I could just Xeno bash it, couldn't I? Hide it that way. This? Let me, uh... So, I, I'm getting, like, 45 FPS right now here. 60, 57, 45. Oh, you can see it. You can see it right here. The FPS. gives you so much more ideas now doesn't it with what you could do when it comes to lighting because like these lights are lighting up this greeny greenery here and lighting up there where the red lights from here are only casting on the underside of this
Damn. Yeah, the um, the one thing I don't like about caves right now is that the fog is giving off light in caves. We When we did the cave check yesterday in the quartz cave, the fog's giving off light. <sighs> Seems way darker than it should be. Uh, this is not the best place for lighting. I follow the road back. Up here. I uh, deal about it. No, it just. Oh boy. Okay. You mean the? I'm guessing you mean this building. But on the left, this. Welcome to Neon City. thing is as well i think what we've got to get used to doing and the gaming's heading in that direction anyway is as you know like most games put like a little brightness filter onto the games where the dark spots don't really look dark they're really very much like gray so getting used to that is going to be uh a turning point it's like going from normal to hdr it just shows the amount of lights we're gonna have to start using as well now if you do use lumen i will be using it go downstairs the stairs? Where are the stairs? Am I missing this? I was just here, right? That works. You guys won't be able to fully experience what I'm seeing right now. Unless... You get to see it full quality on YouTube, you know? Because obviously Twitch only goes to 1080p. Community, community uh, highlights next week. That's going to be good to watch. What you're seeing still looks amazing. All right. All right.
I gotta enable this every time I load. Oh, saying that though, I didn't save over that, right? So if I saved over, it'd be fine. The way it bounces off things, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to play around. We're going to do... I think we're going to do a new building today and play around with it. Achievements come to one... Yeah, 100%. They should 100% come with one point now. Right, pajama, pajama llama. <clears throat> We're all going to need to do it. Oh. All right, let me get back to where I was. And then we'll continue with today's video or well, stream. Some parts of my factory are like pitch black now without any lights. Yeah, I'm the same. I think all of us are going to be the same, you know. I think we're all going to be the same. Oh, I want to go and see. Oh, <laughs> This could be interesting. So that's the thing now. Um, they've, I don't think it's intentional, but mobs. We've got, I've got God mode on, but like, let's turn build cost off now. We don't need that anymore. Um, disabled arachne creatures, like the enemies are still going to be attacking us. You know, we can't put them onto passive mode right now. Are there major bugs? I've got one bug where if I dismantle something, my build menu pops up. Like, no, no more passing mode will still be there. Didn't check. I think it's just missing. Uh, this save is three hours, 30 minutes, and space elevator phase one is done. I think I did it fast enough. That's not bad. I think it's going to be pretty dark in here, Chad. When we go into this room. Because we've not added any lights and it's underneath. <laughs> yep. Let's see what he likes when the truck comes in here. Hold on a minute. I have just received a package, chap.
I have just received a package from Microsoft. UPS delivery from a bloody Microsoft. Unboxing time. What you, what you, what you, what you guessing, chat? Take your guesses. Windows 12 operating system. Hey, kid, God damn it. Damn. Let's pull it out. That came with the pre-order? No. No, 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 no. This was unexpected. Ooh! That's a nice little box. For all into Starfield. Property of the... Ooh, the constellation. It's got like a rubbery feel to it. Well, that's nice. Even the um, the analogs are like see through. I don't know if you can see that. I don't like see through. I've got no note with this or anything. Unless it's underneath. There's some batteries. Well, thanks. Hey, Lim. How you doing, Bob? How you doing? You can kind of just do that, can't you? That work <laughs> doesn't have it doesn't have a stun but <clears throat> the thumbsticks are magnetic and come off looks tiny in my hands yeah that's why i have to use um xbox controllers like look at the look at the playstation controller in my hands right this is the playstation controller in my hands it it this is massive as well small because my i've got big hands right the xbox one is a lot bigger like so it fits my hands a lot more you know but <laughs> just... <laughs> so imagine my mouse this is my mouse you know <laughs> this is my... <laughs> this is my mouse <laughs> this is what i gotta hold it <laughs> That's cool. Are they even out yet? Like the controllers.
All right, this this place is so dark now. It's so dark, and I have trees in here. <laughs> I thought I think first of all we need to chop down some trees. Oh god, oh god, this is a horror movie. This is a horror movie. You missed my comment earlier with your excitement of your parcel, but uh, creature hostility is in options gameplay now. Is it? Options gameplay. Oh, so it is. Passive. They've moved it. They've moved it. Thank you. Jace, so I don't listen to anything Jace says, really. <laughs> How has the update been? It's it's nice. It's nice. It's definitely more of a horror movie now, but it's something that, that we as players will adapt to, and I really like it. I love the whole new lighting kind of uh, system. I'm definitely going to be playing with Lumen. Like, like Jay said, they're officially not going to support it, but they're going to give you the option to use it. So, um, factories are going to look so good. It's unplayable on your rig for now, Fictionary. Like, even on my rig, I, I, I had to pull a setting down of the Lumen, like, and it's, it's... Like, I'm, I'm at 50 to 60 FPS right now. But there are obviously going to be tweaks over this next few, well, months before it gets released into early access for better performance and all that kind of stuff. My inventory is full, yes. I want it to be full because I don't want to take down all of these trees. I'm just trimming away the long bits. I need to change my uh, UI, don't I? Um... Make it a little bit bigger. Azim, good morning, Melons. How is update eight treating you all? It's it's really good. It's good. It it's playable. It's playable for like, I would say 70% of the player base, I would think. Um, no, it's just a matter of just tweaking from the developer side of things for it to be playable for the rest. It's dark. It is because we're in a very dark area. But now lights are new enough mandatory. I actually need to change my hotkeys, key bindings. Holster, 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 holster. Oh, we can search now. Holster. Change you to alts. Map mark them all, that's fine. I did it. Did I, did I not click save? Oh, I did. 
that's our holster holster you're not holstering key bindings um are key bindings broken right now uh holster let me change that to I've always had it on uh, left hole. What was it taking the uh, map? Uh, let's just change you to page down. Okay, there we go. I don't want map markers. We don't need them. Screw them. Oh, my key. Yeah, the key binds reset. Yeah, on experimental anyway. Even if after every update, you just get a new instant of the game with your with current saves. Uh, the key bindings for the hot bars are, are they? Uh, they're working for me. Maybe, maybe the hot bar thing is uh, overriding it. Like it just was for me a minute ago. So when I hold the left alt, I can wheel through it and I can select. So maybe he's doing the same for you guys. The map marker is uh, overriding it, so you can't use your alt and left wheel. Some key binds to priority over us. Yeah. Yeah. That's why uh, I just had to remove that thingy then, didn't I? This looks so good under here. I know it's dark and stuff, but like, you know this is a logistics floor, right? You can tell. Just the light coming off this. It's too... Ugh. Can we just sit here and just have like a little picnic? You know? It's bloody gasmatic. Now we need <laughs> those lights and go. Yeah, update nine or even we need more lights. We need more lights. Like we like officially need more lights. We need smaller lights. Facts. Because everyone is going to want to play with Lumen. If they can. If, if you can play with it, you're going to play with it. My, like 99% of players. You know? Lim doing live support. Yep. Control or snap guidelines if you want to rebind it. <laughs> this is tech support. Lim calling. Oh, it just looks nice, doesn't it? I, I do like how the lights from the above conveyor are casting down onto the belt below. But then obviously I can just bring in a bloody sign. Turn it the right way.
You know what I mean? I don't have thingies, but... <sighs> oh. Wait, let me, just, let me just make sure it's nothing to do with me. So I place that down, right? I go to dismantle. Yeah. You see how it popped up? No, it did it again. This menu keeps popping up every time, like, I delete every so often. Driving me crazy. Do you have any custom keybinds for dismantling? No, I've, like, I've not changed any dismantling keybinds. Um, just to make sure, I've just literally added today, um, the dismantle filter, I put that today, but it, this was doing this yesterday as well. So I think it's a, it, it's a, a thingy issue. If I go F, hold control, delete this, it didn't do it then. Every time I put my hand up, it doesn't do it. But if I leave my hand on the keyboard and not press anything, it does it. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's definitely not me that's doing it. Did it then. It did it then. I didn't even dismantle then, I just pressed highlight. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Oh, it's a habit. Oh. So in Unreal Engine 4, when you was in the F build menu, right? And you was deleting, to get out of this, you could press Q. Right? And this menu wouldn't pop up. It'll actually remove the build menu. So I would always press Q to get out of this. I never used to press F to get out of it again. So whenever I got to miss mass dismantle, I usually come out of this by pressing Q, but now it brings up the menu. It doesn't do the second step. So it's bringing that up because it's a force of habit I'm used to doing. But because of the new key bind system, the input system that Unreal Engine 5 brings, it's bringing this up. So now I've just got to get used to pressing F again. So dismantle and then pressing F. See, I did it again and I didn't press F. <laughs> it's, a, it's a habit. My, my <laughs> finger is instantly going, you know. It's a bloody force of habit. That, oh, that's going to take some time to get used to. Why was chat saying it as well? <laughs> My bad. My bad. They did. <laughs> Fuck chat. <laughs> Who needs them? Don't, don't stay, please. Oh, fuck's sake. Damn it. You're going to have that problem as well. Yeah. It's, I think it's going to be a problem for most people. So, 
just to clarify, it's definitely not a bug. It's just me being a spoon and just force of habit. Bits gets cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well go and watch someone else then. You already are, Leonardo. You probably already have a second stream open. Don't lie. Never listen to chat. It's true. I know. To do something, we've not actually had a look at that, to be honest. Like, the world does feel a lot bigger just because of them distant mountains and you know it does feel like you're on a world now on an actual planet than on a bloody map use an object scanner gone into vehicle and then get out i haven't i haven't i heard about it yesterday or something about the object scanner All right, we need a plan of what we want to do next. We have radio control units. Is it time to build the big power plant? Is it time for that? I think it might be time for the big power plant. Um, to keep the lights on, it's true. Hydrate. Blinking what? <laughs> so that power plant over there is going to get eliminated. Right, that's making 69,000 megawatts. That right over there. For those that have not seen the YouTube video or the YouTube series. Um, however, the new power plant, and I want to, I want to, I want to start changing. the power grid so power plant power grid making a power switch area with priority power switches uh, and i want to start turning all my power plants into a grid system and adding uh power storages right i think that's what we're going to start looking at doing You know, priority power switches. We're going to do that. We're going to do, I, I want to create a, um, I want to create one. And I want to make it a, some form of complex one. So what, what I want to do is I want the power station to then go to switches like you normally would, but them switches then go to the, the power towers then them go to the buildings where then them p buildings have power switches you know so i can turn it off manually from there if i want to just for aesthetic purposes even though i can turn it off from the actual circuit breaker switches now you know how is update 8 going nice we're actually going to start our well we're going to start episode one what episode is this Episode 20, is it? Is it episode 20? 20.001. So, this will be the start of it. 2001. Uh, right, 
Right, so the first thing I want to do in this first video as we talk about what the plan is for this video, it's going to be a multi-video building design. Um, one where we're going to look at the power storages. Um, so the first thing we need to go and unlock is our power towers, which is now in tier four, I believe. Um, she's now in tier four. 